I'm Saka Misakis, I'm a personal trainer. I said to around the gym and talk to them about their health and fitness and why they want to come to the gym. So what's what's your name? Uh, Paul. Paul Misakis. Yeah, nice to meet you, Paul. Okay. Uh, how are you going? I'm oh, pretty good, pretty good. So why do you want to come to the gym? Oh, I want to just lose some weight and improve my general tone, fitness. You know, I don't want to get muscles, buff or anything. I just want to really get a bit fitter and um, uh, get into a, you know, a program where I can, yeah. you know. Um, is, what's your goal? To, is it mainly just to lose weight and get toned? Yeah, number one goal is to lose some weight and get toned up a bit. All right. yeah. So how many times a week do you plan when you want to come to the gym or do your workout sessions, one-on-one sessions? Oh, Maybe a couple times a week at this day. Uh-huh. Yeah, I can start. Yeah. That's right. Paul. 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 Uh-huh. What's your occupation? I'm a web consultant. Web consultant. And what, what's your age, Paul? 53. 53? Have you ever been exercising or playing a sport? If so, please describe. Um, I did a little bit of gym work, a little bit of exercise, but not for about five years. Uh-huh. I haven't done much exercise. I'm sitting in a chair most of the time. That's all right. Describe, what's your current fitness level? Like, what do you reckon your current health and fitness level? Uh, not that good. Not that good. It's, uh, no, uh, about six out of ten. Six out of ten. Yeah. And ten being doing a marathon run and. Yeah, yeah, I'd say so. I, you know, I'm not. I can do a bit of a walk and I can do some things, but I'm not that overly fit. Alright. So, we'll make that better, won't we? Yeah. Um, have you ever been a member of a gym or a fitness club before? Yeah, just for a little while. Um, for you know, like a, it was about six months, I was going to the gym to shut down. So she found it in the Where was this here? In Bellington. Uh-huh. And have you ever had any bad experience or negative feelings with exercise programs? No, not really. Apart from just normal pains and cramps you get when you first start. Mm-hmm. You know, the soreness you get. Yeah. From There's nothing bad, no. No bad experiences. So, what do you have achieved from your exercise program? Um, there's a list here, improved general fitness level. Yeah, I'll let you do. I'll let, I'll let you fill this out. That's all right. And it's what your goals, like what you want in your fitness, your yeah. personal goals. Okay. So that just it's a one out of five, and what you want to do. So one being the uh, five most not important. Yeah. Okay. So the fitness. Increase energy levels, increase muscle strength, um, muscle definition, reduce body fat, definitely, tone up, yeah, improve flexibility, and reduce stress, yeah. Alright, thank you. So, key goals I'll write them down here is to get toned, lose weight. Gain muscle definition. Oh yeah, not a little bit. I'm not, not interested in really getting buff, but just so that you know, I don't look like a fat slob. Yeah. Alright. All right. So how long do you think you'll be about getting these girls? How long do you think it'll take? How long do you want it in? Oh look, I'm happy to spend the next twelve months to slowly build up. You know, I don't want to overdo it straight up. Yep. So you want about a year to get it going? So you want to get your these girls? So, are there any reasons why you can't achieve these goals? Uh, no, I think I'm pretty good overall. I don't think there's no real reason I can't, I can't, I can't get to those points. Yeah. No right. So, I'm doing a lifestyle review. Is, are you following like a diet or a plan? Are you I got eating plan? Not really, no. No, no but I don't, I don't eat much meat. I eat, yeah, you, know, you know, try and keep the fat down and... Um, drinking and stuff, so... 
Drinking water. Drinking water and I try not to drink too much alcohol. Yep. Some weight. Is your job physical or sedentary? It's sedentary really. Like it's my, my arm and my finger are used the most. So you do a computer work? Yeah, yeah. 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 So, alright. How much time can, can you dedicate to an exercise program? You like every day or every week or every um, day like on your program that you do how how long would you? I could put aside an hour or maybe an hour a day, a couple hours a day at most. You know, maybe an hour is pretty comfortable. I can do that. So like maybe like two three times a week every day. Yeah. Uh -huh, yeah. Nice. What types of exercise do Tabby's interested in? Not written out to you. Walking, running, rowing machine. Stationary cycling, swimming, cross trainer, weight machines, free weights, stretching and sports, or group exercise classes? Oh, I think um, some stretching, um, what was the other first one there, the um, walking? There's yeah, walking, walking. And s walking, swimming, and um, some stretching is good, uh, I, I, I'm pretty good at. Yep, um, any others, walking, running, rowing machine, I haven't done too much on the rowing machine, but I reckon that would be pretty good. Good for it's good for cardio, really good. Alright, so no other ones you really think of that? No, no nothing specific. I'm happy to try most nice things. Alright, alright. So that's the news analysis done. So now I'm gonna do uh, a pre questionnaire, a pre exercise questionnaire about your fitness, your health, about if you have any like, issues or anything. Sure. So I'll just fill out this. What's your dad at birth? Uh, 4th of the 10th, 1960. Male. Um, what's your address? Okay. Uh, 606. That's what I'm 606. That's what The, um, the occupation is your job, which is uh, work, work consultant. Work consultant. And your phone number? 0429 181 And... Don't you mobile? That's a mobile number? Yep, yep. yep. Do you have any emergency contact person? Oh, my, my girlfriend. Uh -huh. Yep. Number? We, uh, her number is 
Uh, no, I, had, I was getting some cramps when I was swimming sometimes, mm -hmm. but um, I've taken magnesium and that's sort of, yeah, it's pretty good. Okay, and I'll just sign. Yep. There you go. Great. All right. What we're going to be doing now is I'm going to be read, going to read your heart rate mm -hmm. by using your pulse at your wrist. Mm -hmm. Is it right if I touch your wrist? Yep. If I twiddle twi my fingers, we're going to count this for thirty seconds, mm -hmm. and then I'm going to tell you your rating. Reading. Alright, well, I've gotten out of this, your resting heart rate is a 76, mm -hmm. and a 76 is probably an average for around someone aged 46 to 55. Mm -hmm. That's a pretty good heart rate, but what I'd recommend is to improve your aerobic fitness, which would decrease your heart rate, which will make you fitter and make your heart rate decrease a lot and increase your fitness total. What's an aerobic exercise? Aerobic exercise is... High, like intensity, like going for a lot of running, or what well, it's basically getting low like oxygen in your body. Yep, low oxygen. Okay, blood pressure, and I'm gonna need to put this on your arm. Is that all right? Yeah, that's sure. Right all right, great. So, this is gonna take, tell me blood pressure and how big your blood pressure is. You got a great blood pressure, 124 to 82. That's great. And you'll be able to any of our programs. Brilliant. Good blood pressure. You're healthy. You won't have any trouble doing any exercises and programs. Cool. You'll be all healthy. There's no need to worry. And you can get you started with the programs. Great. Great to, great to hear. Hopefully we'll get your goals good and sorted and done. That'd be good. Where you want it in 12 months. Great. Alright, well since we've done the um, your blood pressure, your heart rate and all that now, we're going to do a muscle fitness test, which is, we're going to do the push up test, okay. so we're going to see how many push ups you can do in 30 seconds, so I can write that record down and know how many you can do, Okay. and that's what we're going to do the, the test today, so what you want to do is get on the ground and do a push up, and the way you want to do the push up, I'll show you. Yep. If you want to go down with the arms, you want to keep your back straight, keep, keep the straight body, try to put your arms to your chest and then put your arms down, keep your head straight, 
to get almost your chest to almost touch the ground and come back up. Straighten your arms out, down, and repeat that. And you want to keep all that straight. Okay. And then we'll time. 30 seconds. Turn it back straight. Yep, cracking your knees up as well. Yep. And then you can do closer grip as well if you want. What's that? So you bring your arms in a bit closer to your body. Alright. And then keep your head straight. Yep. And then you'll put it down. Yep. Nice head from there. <laughs> ah, that's 30 30. That's 30. Ah. Alright, that was good reps. I've done that for a while. That was good reps. Um, the only thing is, you, at some points, you can put your neck down, the back's not up. So, that's your muscular test. And what we're going to be talking about today is gym etiquette. Okay. And that's about gym rules that you follow in a gym. Uh, one one of the rules, main rules that you follow in a gym, is always bring a towel. Mm -hmm. Always bring a towel to cover the benches that you use, mm -hmm. and always remember to wipe them down after you finish using them. Yep. Second rule is always put your weights back of the original, like off the bar you're using, for example, or any okay, machine you're yep. using. Remember, yep. take them off and put them back to mm -hmm. the original place, because not as many people as strong as you or as weak as you. Uh, another another rule is. Don't ever bully other people in the gym. Always respect their personal space. Okay, cool. Always respect yep. their personal space. Another rule is always put equipment back to their original place. So always, if you're going to use a bench and you have to move it somewhere, always move it back to you originally found it, to okay. its original spot. And that's basically all the main rules for gym etiquette. And that's put, just follow those rules and you'll have no trouble in the gym. Now, this is a stationary bike. The main thing you want to do is safety first. Make sure the seat is at your hip, but make sure it's below your three index next to your hip here. Yep. Also, you want to make sure the pedals, the strap here, is tight around your feet, really tight. You want to make sure you got resi you, you want to make sure you don't free spin. So you got to make sure the resi resistance is good for your spin motion. Yep. And um, that's about the safety for it. I'll, I'll demonstrate it to you now. Okay. How, how, you, how you do it. What you want to do, like that was good for me because I checked it. Strap your feet up with the straps. Keep your back straight, your shoulders back. 45 degrees angle. Make sure you got resistance, resistance on the bike. How do I do that? Just twist this in here. Twist it up and put resistance on if you want less. Push it back and then go the other way. Yep. That's how you, how you do the good way to do it. Alright. What you want to do when you undo it is pull it backwards. Yep. Not undo it. Turn the resistance down a bit for you. So, what you want to do is go up next to the seat. And make sure it's level with your hip. Put so your three index here. Three index fingers here. Yeah, and go up. Maybe, may, might be, need to be a bit higher. Is that your hip there? Yeah, your hip there, yeah. I'll make it a bit higher. Right, check now. That's good. Alright, hop on. Yep. Maybe the tightening the strap. Move it. Oh, here we go. Yeah, you need to tighten the strap. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Now, use the maybe to do a pull and pull and push motion instead of an up and down motion. So like this. Pull it and push it. But forward. So you feel like you're pushing it and pulling it instead of going up and oh, down. Oh yeah. Okay. Push then, down. Pull up. Yep. Yeah. And if it's too hard, you can twist this. If it's, if it's too hard or if it's too easy, you can change the resistance on it to make it make sure you're not free spinning. And maybe keep your back straight and your shoulders back. Yep. 
All right, that's good. Next question. I'm doing everything what's asked of you here. All right, like clear and effective instructions on how to use the equipment. Do like yep. clear and effective instructions on correct technique. Monitor the technique and give verbal feedback to the client. You're doing, you're doing good. Keep trying to turn it. Yes. Yeah. So you got to keep back straight? Yeah, try to keep your back straight. And going in a 45 degree. 45 degree and pull and pull motion. You're doing good. Try to speed it up a little bit. Yep. That's good. Nice work. Pretty good technique. Yep. Beautiful. Great. Keep, keep good technique like that. Maybe next time when you go on the, the bike, have looser clothes for your pants so it's easier. Yeah. And it's not as tight around your waist area. And you're doing good technique, that's good. And that's about the stationary bike, basically, and how you, how you do it. So when you want to get off, if you want to unstrap, pull backwards on them, strap. Pull backwards on the metal piece, yep. And it loosens it. You don't touch the ground, but you're close to the ground. Then you bring it back up slowly. Remember to breathe in and out. And look, remember to look at the ground and keep your neck straight. You don't want to bend your neck. Keep your back straight. Yeah. Up. You want to do this slowly. Get the reps out of it. Get the technique. Remember to breathe. So what you want to do is keep your feet together, back straight, neck straight. Never keep a good angle so you, your legs or your knees don't touch the ground. Yep. So it keeps it good. 
Okay. Good technique. Alright. Do the push up now. Remember to keep your feet together. Keep. Yep, put your hands down a bit more. Yep. Keep your back straight. Keep. Remember to keep your neck straight. And remember to breathe in and out. Burn slowly. Yep. Good breath. Back up, remember to breathe. This, muscle, this exercise is working on your chest muscle. Pectoris major and one. Oh. Slowly, keep it straight. Yep. Down. Breathe. Breath. Back up, back up. This way. Nice. The next way. Cool. That's not for you. It's alright. Let me do a few reps. Good technique. Make it feel really good. Um, you need to just keep breathing nicely and keep it straight. Back. Straight. So you don't bend your back and your neck, you don't damage your body, you keep good technique. There's no point doing a lot of push-ups and doing that technique. So. so the exercise we're going to be doing now is the deadlift. The deadlift is a compound movement that works on every single muscle in your body. It's one of the best exercises. Um, what I'm going to have to do is show you the proper technique, how to do a deadlift, with how to do it perfect, spot on perfect, because you do not want to do bad technique with this exercise because it will damage your body for a long, long while. Okay. So I'm going I'm to demonstrate how to do it, mm -hmm. and um, I'll show you a good technique of how to do it proper deadly. Okay. All right. So what you want to go to do? Keep the bar as close to your shins as you can. You basically want to run it up the shins. Yep. And you want to when you go down, but you can use any hand technique. Oh, I like myself putting one hand in, one hand out like that. So I find it comfortable for me. Maybe it's for you. Um, you want to. Make sure your back always stays straight when you go down and use remember to lean back on your heels and use your hips. Okay. Don't and this muscle is working on the main Okay. Go so down and keep your back straight, keep your neck straight, keep your shoulders back. Hold on, bring it up, run up the and use use your hips to push it out. Use your hips down, keep your back straight. Just remember to breathe, remember to keep your shoulders back. So you go back down. Use your hips to push in and out. Down. Leg up. So when you put it down, don't bend your back. When you've got to put it down, keep it straight. So you don't use go. Use your hips. Use your hips and down. Not, don't use your knees. And you want to yeah, focus, focus on hip practice your technique. And remember to breathe. Try find a comfortable hand position that you like, you may like. Okay. I'll try this one. Okay. Maybe keep your back straight. Straight. Push it down. Yep. And then lean back and then bring it up slowly. And then use your hips to push out. Back down. Keep your breathing good. Use more of your glutes. Run it up. Good. Back down. Use more of your glutes. Keep the back straight. Back up. Good. Then keep breathing. Go through the quadriceps, remember. Try one more. Yeah. Use the video. I saw you did that. Put it down. Keep the back straight. Keep it down. And that last rep is a bit of your shot with your elbows. Bring it up. Just keep your elbows relaxed and straight. And then try using more, a, lot of, a lot of your glutes. Okay. I'm going to be explaining what muscles are used in a deadlift, the main muscles. One of the main muscles used in a deadlift is your hamstrings. Hamstrings run up along the back of your leg here. That's one main muscle. The second main muscle is your lower back. Your lower back is a really important thing in a deadlift. Is it does a lot of work. because you, When you're going down, you need to keep it straight. You want to keep good technique with it because that's what you damage a lot in a deadlift. But it's your lower back muscle that does a lot of the work. Another muscle that you use is your core. A lot of core is used in a deadlift because when you're lifting it up, you lock in your core and you're staying, you're keeping it strong so you don't bend over and do anything. Another muscle you use is your glutes. Glutes is really good because you squeeze with your glutes and you squeeze and that's what brings the actual deadlift up. And another muscle, the last muscle you use is your lats. <coughs> your lat muscle, your lats is one of the main things when you use is when you're lifting it up, you're pulling with your lats to get it up with your glutes 
combining them together, keeping your back straight, which makes the deadlift. Showing you how to do a squat. Squat exercise is exercise that works in the glutes, which is your muscles and glutes. Um, with this exercise, you can do body weight squats, so you can just do a normal squat, um, or you can use it with a barbell, which we are going to be showing you today how to use the barbell as a squat exercise. Okay. I'm going to be showing you how to do a good technique and you how to do a good technique with it and good breathing. And you want to keep your back straight with it and all that. I'll show you all that. I'm going to demonstrate it for you now, okay. and I'll show you how to do it. Um, most you can you can do normal squats and you already have a wrap. I'm just going to be showing you how to play barbell on the ground and show you how to do a good squat. So what you want to do is put it get it on your back. Remember to keep your shoulders back. Keep, put your hands pretty wide about here where they are. Next to the bar, there's Olympic bars that are different. So what you want to be doing is you want to squeeze your glutes when you go down and up. When you, when you, when you go down using your hips, you squeeze your glutes to come back up and push out with your hips. So what you want to be doing is keep your back straight, your neck, go down using your, your um, glutes. Squeeze your glutes together and push out. Remember to stay in the heels as well. So you go down, back up, squeeze your glutes. Good technique, you want to keep your back straight, your shoulders straight, your neck straight, use glutes, down, push out, squeeze them, squeeze them together, and it'll end you push up. So that's a good squat, you want to have your feet pointing outwards, about as wide as your shoulders. Alright, well, you want to, when you're doing exercise, you want to keep your back straight and your shoulders back. You want to, when you have the bar place, you want to place your back muscles on your back at the top. So, Pick up the bar and see what the position is. Yep, there, that's perfect. Alright, when, when, when you go down, breathe in, come out, breathe out. So, when you go down, yep, keep on your back, yep. Keep your back up. 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 Keep your Try to lean more into your heels. Maybe breathe. Yep, that's the right Try to keep pointing. Yep, stretch that down. Right here. Center. Nice breath. Maybe breathe. Back to breath. You might find it better if you widen your feet a bit more, right? So you got more of a spot to go. Alright, the exercise we're going to be doing now is um, the hover. The hover exercise works on your abs, which is the rectus abdominis. That's the Latin name for it. Um, this is the, I'm going to demonstrate the exercise on how to do the hover with your technique. About hurting yourself from it and learning and learn how to do it and I'll demonstrate how to do that for you. And when you're doing this exercise, maybe keep breathing, breathing in and out because you're going to be holding yourself in position for maybe 10 seconds, 20 seconds, 30 seconds. So when you when you go forward to this position, you want to keep your elbows in front, like over your equal with your shoulders, like over your shoulders. Okay. When you need to be your back. When you're here in this position, you want to rock the core, rock it, hips strong, hips strong. Remember to breathe, keep the back straight, rock your core, elbows, arms and shoulders. And then hold it for 20 30 seconds. Remember to breathe. Try to hold this for 10 seconds, up to 30 seconds. You want to, when you do this exercise, you put it back on it. Pass it, I'll tell you how to fix it at the end of the day. Yep. Maybe your knees back a little bit more. Yep. Keep your back straight. Head, head straight. Lock a bit more. Yep. Um, yep, lock your core. You lock it? Yep. Hold it for about 10 seconds. Remember to breathe. Keep breathing. Now, hold it for about 10 seconds if you can, or 15 seconds. 
back to the back single straight. Yep, working your abs. Good, good work. Hold it, hold it down. Those arms until you feel comfortable. Remember to breathe, get breathing. And now, good, that's good. Good reps. Alright, oh, perfect. You always, you always stop breathing, don't you, when you're locking this? You sort of go, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Start the shape of that one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Alright, that's good. I'll try one more. Yeah, good. Yeah, good exercise to home for. Keep your back straight. Keep, put your elbows in the floor as well. Yeah, yeah. Good. 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 Breathe in and out. Breathe. 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 Another one is always stretch to discomfort, not pain. You don't, you don't want to cause pain in, in it. So if you ever do cause pain, just let it off a little bit or stop. Mm -hmm. And that's, that's a good, good safety reasons to good safety tips. All right. So what we're going to do is the hamstring stretch. Yep. In the back, run down the back of your leg. Stretch with your hamstring. Right. What you want to do is you want to put your foot up onto this bench. Keep your knee straight with your hips and your knee, get, get your foot, bring, bring the foot towards you. The toe? Yeah, the to pull the to toes towards you and lean forward into it and use your hips to lean into it and always keep your back and shoulders straight. So, and always put your hands on the hips as well. Mm -hmm. So you lean forward into it and you pull the toes back and you feel it in your hamstring running down there and make sure your foot's straight. Alright, that's that's how you, that's the, how you do it, the guideline on how you do the stretch. Okay, so put forward, keep your foot straight with your knee, your hip. Bring your, remember to bring your toes back, and then use your back and your shoulder straight, and then lean into it with your hips. Use your hips to lean into it. And pull, oh. pull, pull the toe back. Oh. <laughs> keep, keep the toes back. Toes back. Yeah. Right, good. That and just hold that stretch. You need to hold it. Hold it. Yep. And keep breathing. Keep breathing. Yep. Exhale and inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Yep. And lean into it. Yep. Okay. All right. Now, that's good. Good technique. You did pretty good. It's nice. Good. Both sides. Can you do the other you side? Do, you can do both sides. And keep that foot straight. Remember to keep it straight. Oops. Bring that and then bring the toes back, hands on the hips, breathing, shoulders back, back straight, bring the toes towards you, and lean into it with your using your hips. Oh. Try to get the foot a bit more straight. Oh. <laughs> uh -huh. There you are. That really works, that muscle. And the hamstrings down, down there. Yeah. Alright, that's good. Alright, excellent. Okay. We're going to be performing the static stretch for your quadricep now. What we're going to do is make sure you fit it together, keeping good balance, give it a horizontal beam like this. Try sure doing this demonstration. What you want to do is use your, get your wrist, get your ankle, hold it back. Remember to keep your foot straight and keep your knee next to your other leg and bring your heel to it. It feels like it touches your buttocks, but if it's too painful, don't do it. Hold it back. Um, or extend your hips out as well if you want to get more out of the stretch. Remember to breathe, hold the stretch in place, and feel it. You can feel it in your quadricep, and you can extend out into it. Remember to keep your back straight and hold. Just hold the stretch. And which one's the quadricep? The quadricep is this muscle here, your main upper leg okay. muscle, and your back. Stretch and try which side do you want to try it on? You can okay, I'll try the side. Use the balance. Bit. Try balance, straight feet straight, just take yep. this one. Okay, and yep. my, my get, ankle. Get your ankle, bring it up. Keep, keep, try to keep your shoulders together. Try to bring this up. Yep. 
and then hit it to your feel, bring it to your buttocks and feel it. You can extend your hips down if you need to. Oh yeah, I can feel that. On the, yep. On the hold, hold the stretch. You breathe. You can always extend the hips down if you want to get more out of the stretch. Doing good. Yeah, hold it nice. Oh. Decent, that's a good technique. And so if I want to do this yeah, side. I'd, I'd recommend going on this side for a better for a better balance. Big straight. Yeah. If you if your foot can't touch your buttocks, maybe you don't have to pull it as hard, but make sure you can feel it in your quadriceps. Yep, I can you feel that. It, breathe. Keeping your back straight and shoulders back. Nice. How long do I should I hold that? It's like until it's like uncomfortable or something. Until you start feeling pain or ten seconds, fifteen seconds. And that's that's your quadricep. Static stretch when you hold it. Remember to always keep breathing, you can send your hips out. It's good technique. You always want to make sure you do good technique. Otherwise don't do the stretch until you've learned proper good technique for it. Okay. Alright, now we're doing a static stretch for your pectoris major. Pectoris major. Stretch for your pec up here. And it's a static stretch to stretch out the upper pec here. So what you want to do, you want to go up to a solid beam or a solid wall, anything that's got a good edge to it that you can make sure the edge are always smooth so you don't hurt yourself from it. Yeah, make sure your elbow's in line with your shoulder, mm -hmm. that same height. Use your upper, I mean your inner leg forward, and never use the outer leg. Keep it straight, you lean into it, you're keeping your back in your shoulder straight, and you lean into it. So you feel your neck muscle and knee stretch, mm -hmm. lean into it, then hold that stretch and remember to breathe. And then hold it, take the stretch, into it. So, okay. Make sure you keep your elbow in line with your shoulder. Alright, go. So, shoulder up. Yep, make sure that the elbow is in line with the shoulder. Yep, and then bring this your inner leg out. And try to keep your back foot straight. Okay. And then lean into it using your hip and keeping your shoulders and back straight. And lean into it until you feel your pec muscle and knee stretch. Oh, yeah. Use your knees well to lean forward a bit. Yep. Yep. It's good. You're doing that good. Feel it in the top of the pec. Yep, you feel it in here. Right, good. Right, that's great. Good. Would I switch it if I, I gotta keep straight? Yeah, keep straight and you hold hold the stretch. Hold the stretch. Hold the stretch. Yeah. And then breathe. Keep your breathing good. Keep your shoulders back and straight. Good. That's a good technique. Good way to do it. Nice. Keeping your feet good. Great. You can do it the other side of it. Like this side? Yep. So, you bring that to your inner leg again. In the leg? Sure it's all your inner leg. Shoulder, knee, elbow with your shoulder. Back straight, shoulders back. Yep. Lean into it. With your knee. Use your pec. Feel it, feel it, your muscle in your pec. Okay. And hold, hold the stretch. And breathe. Yep, I can feel that in here. Good. That's what you want to feel. No pain. If you do feel pain, just lean back a bit, not as much. Pressure on it. Good. What we're, go what we're doing now is a fl our flexibility test. And what I'm going to be checking is how flexible you are and how not flexible you are. So certain exercises I can give you, certain exercises I can't give you. Alright, so what we're going to be doing is a stretch for your hamstrings. You put your leg in here, keep your shoulders back, your back straight, and you lean forward, and you see how far you can put your hand. So stretch, don't stretch till pain, just stretch till discomfort. So I can only reach about here. So that's the stretch, and that's a demonstration of how we're going to do the stretch. Okay. So you can just do it after me. Keep your shoulders back, keep your leg in. Yep. Okay. Yep, put this straight like that. Alright. 
Now try to stretch as far up as you can. With keeping my shoulders back or? You can lean forward, use your hips to lean forward, but just keep them straight. Okay. Is that hurting? Uh, not, not soon. Now it's starting to hurt. You can lean forward into it, just keep your shoulders straight. Ah, uh, that is staying, yeah. Yep, there. there. Alright, that's that's where you want to stop because you, you haven't pain yet. Yep, that's good. Right, there, alright. Alright, you got near your foot, you got quite close to your foot, just not fully, which is pretty good. That's probably just about the same as me, which is pretty flexible but not too flexible at the same time. So what we're gonna have to do is improve a lot on stretching and give you different stretches like hamstring stretches for example. I'm gonna give you a lot of different stretches to help improve your stretching. Today we're going to be, um, I'm going to be talking about some topics to you, uh, six topics on um, six different things that may help you, that you may want to learn about, that will help you get your goals and needs that you want in your um, personal, in your training. So I've got one here, benefits of resistance training, you can have a look at that, just pop it down there after you're done with it. Um, I've got how to boost your metabolism fat, to aid fat loss. Yeah. It's a, how to lose weight fast. Are you saying I'm fat? No. <laughs> <laughs> the new approach to ab abnormal training, um, core conditioning. Got that. We've got a couple more handouts here. Health and exercise implications of high blood pressure. Got a handout on that. Okay. And I've got the benefits of cardiovascular ex exercise here. And um, you can pick, pick which one you want to well, learn. Well, I, I think that I don't have high blood pressure, and I, I think I'm going to, I wouldn't mind the cardiovascular exercise. I think that's the, the best thing for me, because that's going to be my starting. Yeah, well, cardiovascular yeah. exercise is good for what, what your goals are needed, because you want to lose weight, you want to get toned in cardiovascular, boost your metabolism, it helps you lower risk of getting diabetes also. So you, you may have um, coronary heart disease and one in three people having cardiovascular disease also dramatically drops that number, so you, you lowers the risk. It will help you lose weight faster because you, you boost your metabolism a lot faster. That's good. And um, yeah, this is really good. That cardiovascular exercise is all that high intensity training like you just you get your heart rate high, you lose the weight, you boost your metabolism, you lower your risks on all, all, all diseases, it makes it improves your heart, your heart rate, um, ability to recover. So so um, so cardiovascular exercise actually improves your heart rate. So you actually when you're doing exercise, you actually recover faster than other people, for example. Like so when you work hard yeah. and then once you've done that, you get back to like normal heart rate. Yeah, a lot you, faster. Uh -huh. So if you, you had someone, your friend running up a hill next to you, and you did more cardiovascular exercise than them, when you got to the top, it may take you 20 seconds to be recovered and not be puffed anymore. It may take them 40 seconds or 50 seconds because they haven't actually trained for cardiovascular exercise, which make which improves your heart rate a lot. Mm -hmm. And it also improves your home. Um, your profile, your body profile, so you get you had a good body out of it as well, out of um, good training for it. Uh, I'd recommend, yeah, I'd recommend taking that home. I've written it out so you can understand it, really simple and easily. Um, it's good, it's easy to read and it's easy to understand. And um, I'd recommend doing a lot of cardiovascular exercise training. Well, not a lot of it, but a couple times a week, two or three, two or times, three times, two a week, or three yeah. times a week will help. And um, I've got the other handouts here that I'd like to give to you to take home and read through just in case yeah. you want to have a look at them. Like uh, core conditioning, to work on your core, make core Is that muscles. like that hover thing we did the other day? Yeah, the hover, yeah. Works on that. It um, also helps a lot with um, getting a six pack, but you just got to lose the weight first, which is through cardiovascular exercise. Mm -hmm. And if also is how to boost your metabolism and aid fat loss. Mm -hmm. That's a good one in here. That will teach you how to um, lose a lot of weight, but that will help a lot. But this will probably, it will explain, like dieting for example, you need a diet, good, eat less carbohydrates at night, eat more in the afternoon, like in, um, at noon, 
at like midday for lunch, have like some carbs, and then for lunch have veggies and cooked chicken, for example. So it'll teach you a lot how to lose weight through just your diet. Mm -hmm. So these handouts will help you a lot. Um, the benefits of resistance training, it's a good one. That will help you get, will gain muscle mass, and it because muscle when you gain muscle mass, you actually lose body fat percentage. Is that like the bench press thing with the yeah. is that resistance training? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Or with you strength, those weights, strength training. Yeah, and then there's the high blood pressure one here, which, for example, the cardiovascular exercise will actually help, and you don't have that problem. And then the core conditioning one here. You don't have to read through them all, but I'd recommend it. Right. What we're going to be doing now is your waist to hip ratio. Yep. And what this does is it tells me a rating on you how much body weight you're carrying around. Mm -hmm. And so we're going to start by I need to measure your waist. So could you hold that there? Put that above your belly button. Sorry. Sorry. Put that here. Uh, 99. Alright, there we go. Now we're going to be doing your hips. So, yeah, hold this here. So that's 104. So 99 to 104. So your body weight mass index is 0 0.95. Mm -hmm. That's your waist hip ratio. So that's pretty, that's high. That's mm -hmm. in the high. So um, I'm overweight. Sort so of. yeah, you're overweight. Um, what you want to do is do more cardiovascular, so which is more cardio exercise like running, jogging, swimming, mm -hmm. for example, stuff like that. So extreme is 1.00, so you're lucky you're not that high. So what you can do is you want to get that low before you get that high. So that's my recommendation for that. Okay, thanks.